All right, so what's up, Gordy Rattler? I'm just here to talk about some wrestling today. And how is it taking bumps out there, man? Like, I've seen you taking a lot of bumps. Like, that shit is crazy, dog. Um, it's, it's rough. It's very rough, to say the least. Um, body kind of gets used to it time after time. Every time you uh, take a bump or every time you hit the mat, you know, it's just something you get used to. But at the same time, you don't really get used to because at the end of the day, you're still looking for the next bit of ibuprofen or biofreeze. But I don't know. How is it working? Um, How is it being trained by Deathmark? Uh. Death Mark's awesome. Um, you know, we uh, got to work a lot in the beginning of our events with Brick City. And deep down, he's a great guy. Um, not much I can really say that's, or nothing bad I can say about him. I mean, dude's quickly, like, I know he's my coach and all, but he's become one of my best friends. So, how was it to win that BC Great American Champion? Oh, uh, shit. That was... That's a big that accomplishment. Was like, yeah, that almost felt life-changing right then and there. You know, I mean, for obvious purposes, uh, the cameras didn't show it, but I won the title, you know, you know, got on the corner, whatever, posted it up with it, immediately uh, jumped the barricade, went straight to my dad. And, you know, because he, if there's anybody who kind of knew who, uh, how bad I wanted it and how far I've come with this, it's him. Uh, wrestling is a lot about sacrifice and putting time into it. And he knows just as, as much as I do how much sacrifice I've given for this. If you could work with any wrestler that's, that is not active in the business or is in the business, who would it be? Um, if on a major scale right now, I would say Matt Riddle. If uh, it's somebody who's been in the business and is, you know, kind of working the indies right now, Tommy Dreamer. How was it meeting, um, What's his name? The American Giant. So, the American Giant is great. Um, I actually did get to work a match with him at oh, one wow. point long, bef long before, you know, I even should have actually been in the ring. There was an event with uh, a certain group I will not disclose for their safety and you know public safety whatever but i was a ring announcer and they actually someone called out and he needed an opponent so i kind of just got thrown to the wolves there but you know at the same time we kept it safe kept it smart it was a great time and buck bresner i thank you for that what's your finisher currently uh so it's two things um the black hole slam but before that it's the high noon splash so it's where i would throw them into the corner back up to the parallel corner i guess across from the ring diagonally you know do the high noon and all that good stuff and then i hit them with a corner splash but i face my back towards them by the end of it so as they come out, uh, the Black Wolf Slam gets hit, and that's the beauty of it. If it wasn't for BCE, where would you be now? In all seriousness, probably in jail. How did wrestling, probably in... How did wrestling change your life? Wrestling, I mean... Wrestling's always been a part of my life, but stepping into the ring, you know, to finally feel what it's like, it, it's a motivation, you know, it kind of shows 
you like if you really want to do it then you got to start right there you got to chase it you got to work for everything i mean it's a very cutthroat industry anyone who's worked in it will tell you and they'll straight up tell you uh, if they don't think you're cut out for it they'll tell you straight to your face so i'm thankful you know to be able to get in the ring there was that one point somebody told me i was more than likely not going to make it as an in-ring competitor so you know i kind of use that as motivation because i mean like i said there's not very much sugar coating around here how is it working the great christopher ryan in matches christopher ryan all right he's actually uh a really good guy you know he he has his demons but we all do and you know if for some reason he does see this um just know christopher ryan you got my respect utmost um he used to hang out a lot outside of wrestling but he did have to move upstate to new york because of family issues or not even family issues but oh there goes my lighting one sec i don't even know what it was i think it was for work actually now that i think of it but just know christopher ryan one man to another you have my respect and much love from over here what companies are you looking to get into currently what's the dream company I mean, anywhere to, you know, get a major, you know, signing, you know, just to prove my name at a national or even an international level, you know, at the end of the day, it, my goal is to be the best there ever was one way or another. If, you know, Florida Indies is as good as it gets for me, then I'm going to be the best Florida Indie wrestler there's ever been. If I make it to TNA, I'm going to be the best TNA wrestler there's ever been make it to AEW same thing WWE same thing and that's no disrespect to anyone who's come before me that's no disrespect to anyone who's working just as hard as I am working less working more whatever but that's just my personal goal what does WWE stand for world wrestling entertainment dream match what's a dream match for you me involved yeah <laughs> i mean probably me versus bray wyatt rest in peace that would be a good match if yeah anybody is somebody who's you know not you know anyone who's alive to this day i guess i mean sorry that it's so crude but i would probably say i would really like to work against the big show that's a big one man yeah him or gunther who's the current wwe champion roman reigns or seth rollins whichever one roman reigns um actually one of my favorites all time not even gonna lie i know he gets a lot of hate but there is a lot to his story that is very relatable to mine and my family's so which you know kind of you know clicks with me what's uh what what more do you have to prove in this business what what things do you want to prove I want to be able to prove that I may be a big man, you know, built in at 300 pounds, but I want to be able to wrestle any sort of, you know, any type of wrestling, you know, because you got the chain technical wrestlers, you got the ultra violent, you know, you got the luchador. You know, I want to be able to work with them all. You know, I want to be able to prove that I can go in the ring with anybody else who's trained just as I am, and make a very great match out of it. What type of wrestling boots do you currently wear? 
you know, I, um, I'm not even going to lie. They're, uh, they're hand-me-downs, but, you know, I mean, you got to start somewhere. They're very nice boots. Uh, shout out to uh, Game Day Johnny Zeke for that. He passed them down to me whenever uh, he was done with them, and I them for some shoulder pads, actually. What does your training process look like before a match? My, uh, your pump. honestly, it's, uh, it starts with a little bit of arm band stretching, you know, just so, or, you know what I'm talking about, the elastic bands. Um, other than that, just going over the match with whoever I need to, tape up as needed, and, you know, I say this, I say this quote right before, I say it right to myself before I hit the curtain every single time. And it just, it's a pit bull. Y'all call it moments. I call it life. Walk through the curtain, let everything go. What's your favorite takedown? Takedown as, can you uh, specify? Like getting the, getting the opponent down to the mat. Um, I love the sidewalk slam. I don't get to use it as much right now, but I love it. How did you choose wrestling? I don't, you know, that's very, I don't know how to put it other than wrestling chose me, you know, everything, you know, comes back to everything I've ever done leads to wrestling, you know, watched it since I was a kid, addicted ever since then, you know, regardless of what I do, wrestling's always been there and it's time to be there for wrestling. If you could have a tag team partner, who would it be? A tag team partner. Uh, active or? Anybody. You know, just because our gimmicks would go together very well, I would say Trevor Murdoch. What's your biggest accomplishments right now in the business? Um, Brick City Entertainment, first ever Great American Champion. So I really can say, you know. And do you think you're going to go to a company next where you can choose your gimmick? Or do you, how do you feel about WWE kind of choosing the gimmicks and having writers kind of do that all for you as in an AEW you're kind of you're doing it on your own you got the freedom to you could put on whatever colors you want you get to choose what you want to do if AEW came knocking and you know they gave me creative freedom I would love it you know I'd stick with Gordy whatever if um WWE came knocking down my door right yeah I I would I would love whatever they had in store for me you know because at the end of the day, if I'm if they're giving me creative freedom, I mean, so far I've done everything right with creative. Well, not everything, but I'm I'm in the right direction. What's your favorite Royal Rumble that you've currently been in? Been in? Yeah. Never been in one. No battle royals. No Royal Rumbles. Nothing like that. That's very surprising. Yeah. What's next up for Gordy Rattler in 2025? 2025. That's a great question. You know, 2025, I think I'll start taking more bookings. So if any promotion out there wants to book Gordy Rattler, that is a possibility. And I would love to try to work with anybody. Are you currently a singles wrestler or? Yeah, I'm very much so a singles wrestler right now. I mean, hey, if Trevor Murdoch wants to come change that, I'll take it. How was that bump you took against Cooper Nolan? Cooper Nolan. That's actually a fan. Holy shit, man. That's crazy.
that's i what i mean by that is he he he's not a worker he's he's just a fan he didn't have any partake with it if you're talking about off the balcony that was blade cruise I saw during the the signing you had a little dispute. How did that go? With Blade Cruz, um, we go way back, um, back to like days in high school, if not probably before then. Also, you know, to kind of see what he's doing, I'm not. I guess, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Really, you know. Yeah. It's just not something I'm willing to stand for. How do you feel about being single? Relationship wise? Anything. I mean I mean independence is always great, but you know when the time comes, the time comes. Are you currently looking for any valets? Mm, not necessarily. I mean, if, you know, I ever got paired with one and it worked out, then so be it. Light check again. There we go. How was it meeting the Brock Lesnar guy? Brock Lesnar guy, that man is a legend. So to be able to, uh, you know, I actually, I met him at this past Royal Rumble. So to be able to, you know, I was, I mean, in all reality, I was drunk. You know, I was drunk roaming around St. Petersburg. So the fact that I can point him out drunk and ask him for a picture shows his notoriety. So to be able to get a picture with him was awesome. And he, I love the support he was able to show back by reposting, you know, helping me get my light count up and all that good stuff. So... Brock Lesnar guy, if you see this, good kudos to you. Most knowledgeable tips you got from wrestlers, like it could be Matt Hardy, anybody. You know, I haven't been told this personally, you know, from him, but I saw something where he gave shed he shed knowledge upon everybody who watched it, and it was Baron Corbin. Oh, wow. And um, Death Mark actually told me the same thing. Uh, Baron Corbin and Death Mark have both said, hold your finisher to a standard of no one kicks out. Your finisher is a finisher for a reason. Make sure of that it's treated as such. Have you ever worked a hardcore match? A hardcore match? No, I've done Last Man Standing. Or actually, yes, I have done a hardcore match against Death Mart. Are you going to finish on Dark on Death Mark? Finish Death Mark. Me and Death Mark have already kind of, you know, squashed whatever we had. But, you know... Who knows what the future holds, you know? Who's the hottest wrestler? The hottest wrestler. Jeez. I'm assuming you mean looks? Yes. Tiffany Stratton. What wrestler would you... Dream Crush? Not even that, but let's keep it kind of PG. What wrestler would you smash? I don't even know, you know, because like Julia Hart's pretty bad to me. I mean, Sky. I like Tony Storm. Sky Blue. I like Tony Storm too, but she looks too much like my mom, so it's a little bit weird for me. Who would you let pin you to the ground and take advantage of you? Sheesh. <laughs> what the hell? Um, trying to think. Probably Gigi Dolan. Facts. What be comfortable fighting a gay wrestler? Yeah. 
No problem. Is not a wrestler. It's, uh, and I kind of see now where you're getting these questions. <laughs> questions. Eddie, you're not a real wrestler. You can get trained and then we'll talk. You're not a real wrestler, dude. I'm not, I'll tell I'm you. not a wrestler. Yeah. And I'm not a wrestler. Can you, um, when you, you were talking know. earlier about how you love wrestling, how it found you, how did wrestling find you? Like, how did it find you, you know? It just comes back to me time after time, you know. What is, what, like, what appeal does it bring to you? You know, it, I, I think of it as, like, a relationship. If you have somebody that's in a relationship, you're in a relationship with, and you drift off, but they have this one appeal to them that keeps coming back to you, and that, that one thing just brings you back to that person, What does what's that one appeal that wrestling has that, just brings you back to it what 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 about wrestling do you love so much about it um one sec can y'all still see me yeah, yeah i can see you all right hold on one sec i just have my camera off because i'm eating dinner <laughs> and there's about nine minutes left in this call so just to give you guys um, a heads up i i don't know how to answer your question eddie unfortunately next question eddie I can, I can, I can worry about it. like what what about wrestling do you love so much about it that makes you want to do this? Comes down to uh, you know it's just something I've loved my entire life. You know I I love wrestling. You know I love the you know the storylines, the everything, the story behind it. You know the emotion it brings. Me too. Who was your favorite wrestler growing up? Jeff Hardy. Nice. Um, you're talking about storylines and everything. And I know you watch a lot of the wrestling and everything. What was all time favorite storyline? That's a good one. Degeneration X and Legacy. Mm. Now uh, you have a contract. Other, than, other yeah. than the White Rabbit segment with Bray Wyatt. That's... You, you you talk about early. I saw you said that you would want to work with Bray Bray Wyatt, but unfortunately, you know he passed away last year. Talk about the impact that Bray Wyatt had on you. You know, being an up and coming wrestler, you looking up to him. What impact did he's, he have on you in sport? In my opinion, one of the greatest storytellers there ever has been. You know, yeah. he uh, he's able to connect with anybody, whether you know they're the happiest. Or in the darkest of days, and you know that's what you need to have to be a wrestler. Yeah, and you say he connects with you. Um, what connection did you feel best with him? Like what storylines? Because you say it was ups and downs. Did you relate to him more when you're on your ups or more on your downs? Because sometimes uh, just, the build ups, the build ups are the absolute best that he's. And what was your favorite storyline with uh, Bray Wyatt? the white rabbit exactly yeah that's the best um when you t when you when you have a contract in your hand you have either wwe next question uh no either wwe AEW, next question or independent next question all right word um if where do you want to see gordy rattler be in five years that's good top five and whatever he has and, and not and, and and i want to clarify we're not just as a wrestler like you know you you, you every every answer is gonna be i want to be the most you know top five successful no nah, what do you want as a legacy as an icon what when people hear the name like when people hear the name roman reigns even for example just bray wyatt you you think of the legacy he left how we impacted many people's lives how he connected I, with people how do you want gordy rattler to be like that in the next five years just for right now you know speaking of what we have in front of us i want brick city entertainment fans to look at this you know grand american championship run and say that was one of the best there ever was Respect. that's great what about in the future uh with this company with the 
Brick City. Um, how well, do you want to grow it? How do you want it to be, you know, attract more people, attract more of a fan base to where it's getting up there? There's five I minutes. To contribute. I just want to... I just want to go out there and be able to attract people in the seats just by, you know, doing what I do best, as cliche as it sounds. Yeah. What's in store for Gordy Rattler the rest of the year? A lot of bookings, a lot of uh, exciting matches that I can't reveal at the time, and a lot of exciting opportunities event-wise, which I still can't reveal. Just know if anybody is in the Central Florida area, Reddick, Florida, March 23rd, March Mayhem, I will be there and I will be in a match. Sounds good. Who you, uh, and not, no update on who you're fighting yet or anything? or I can't reveal that. Surprise word. That's going to be good. Um, taking this globally, how do you feel is the best way to promote yourself? Because, you know, you're on Instagram. You you have, you know, a, a pretty, like, and I'm not trying to sound mean when I say this because it's, you know, everyone starts with somewhere. You have a pretty small following right now. What do you think the best way you can do to promote yourself to bring a bigger so, audience onto yourself? I have a small audience, but they are all interactive. And, you know, that's the way I see it. As long as, you know, you, have, you can have a million followers, but if only a hundred of them, are actually reacting it's not going to get you anywhere if you have 150 and 100 of them are reacting one way or another that's going to get you out there and got you get you even further with more interaction in the near future to get to that point i believe use the hashtags consistency you know posting stuff that shows who you are and the persona for better words and the authentic you at the same time three more minutes exactly you know you were talking about deathmark earlier you're talking about how much of a good mentor he has been to you how did you guys get together how did deathmark become your mentor he he actually got picked up one day from a plane in virginia we picked him up and you know we clicked instantly you know he, uh, we got in the ring that same day. He lit a fire under my ass and, you know, got me to where I am today. More than, not even more than less, got me where I am today. That's that's amazing. And and you saying that he's gotten you to where he was, to, where you are today. What do you have to say about Deathmark? Not only just as a, you know, your mentor, but as a friend. Because he's he seems dude like will, like family. How do how do you, how do dude you, will give you his shirt off his back if you ask for it, and you know he's he's a great father. He's a great man, great husband. I mean, I've, I mean, there there's been days I, you know, stayed with him for a whole week at his house, and I just you know, we get along very well, and you know, I'm grateful for the friendship and mentorship and coaching that he's brought to me. It's awesome. When you won that, and this is probably one of the last few questions, when you won that title, how did you feel? What was going through your mind? Part of me felt I finally did it. I showed the kid in me that we finally did it. But at the same time, I mean, you take an opportunity like that, and, uh, hey, um, Smooth, if you want to let that person in that's trying to get in. Um, I don't see you, anybody. Oh, uh, hold on. Try again. He, uh, that kid in me wants more, and that kid needs more. So what I'm going to do is keep pushing to be the best I can be. The chat is about to end in, in, in a minute because there's no more space. I could start a new one, but... Close it out if you want. If you want to, uh, we can. But other than that, follow me on Instagram, Gordy G O R D Y underscore Rattler R A T T L E E R. Thank you everybody for watching. Shout out to Eddie Clutch. Shout out to Smooth. Shout out to Eric Page. Shout out to Death Mark. Everybody who's been involved. God bless you all. Remember, if you do something, do do it with everything you got. You gotta love it to be successful. 
There you go. Good shit, bro.